Okay. Frankie Valley. And the Four Seasons. That must be the Four Seasons. There's four of them. Let's go. What is going down, world? Uh, welcome to the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. I go by the name Black Pegasus. Today I'm checking out Frankie Valley in the Four Seasons. Now, um, what did I check out on the... Oh, what night? <laughs> So I checked that out on the channel, but I have heard that before, you know, on the radio and stuff, but I never saw the video. Um, but this, I don't know if, I don't think I've ever heard or seen this because with uh, the four seasons in Frankie Valley, I'm pretty sure they're the ones that do big girls, they don't cry, which I played for my daughter when she was beginning to swim because she was terrified of swimming. Yeah, I just kept playing it on the way to swimming lessons, and now she's doing really good at swimming, actually. So it's really cool. But anyways, Frankie Valley, they got some bangers. Um, I think they had a movie made about them. I don't know if it was good or not, but I do think I remember a movie, The Four Seasons or something that came out. Wonder who came first, The Four Seasons, the group, or Four Seasons, the hotel, right? Isn't that a hotel or like a restaurant or something? I don't know. I know The Four Seasonings, salt, pepper, garlic, onion. What you know about that? 40. 40 year old what, what? boys are back in town. 40. Boys are back in town. 40 year old boys are back in town. The boys are back in town. 40 year old FUQ Boys Podcast. Malt liquor for your ears. 40. All right, y'all, let's get the logo down. And go ahead and pull the video up. Don't forget, support the original content. I actually just put out a music video, and I'm going to start um, putting up more of my music and then releasing new stuff as well. I got a new channel, Pegasus vs. The World, where I take on challenges, trending topics, comedy, and some travel. Look, all that stuff will be in the description, along with our membership. Uh, the membership on this channel gives you access to the reactions early. As you guys know, I bring on a lot of guests um, sometimes, you know, they're just like the Gen Z homies, like young cats, and sometimes they're platinum and gold artists. So you get to see all that stuff first in the membership. Again, there's not obligation and, uh, just putting it out there. So let's get into this. This is Frankie Valley and the four seasons who loves you. Let's see what this is about, man. I'm gonna bring it back to the very beginning. I like how they just have it on that. What are those symbols? The symbols, right? I'm just playing them. Yeah. Mm. Let's go. And it starts going up. The volume starts going up. Yeah. Okay. There's Frankie. I know him. You know, it's so easy just to like these old school love songs because it's an emotion all of us felt, all of us feel, and it's just it's this, I don't know, there's something that they captured in this time period that is, you know, without better words, it sounds very cliche, but it's timeless, right? I have not heard this, and this is dope. <laughs> 
you know, for some reason, it's kind of giving me the Bee Gees vibes. A little bit. A little bit of vibe of the Bee Gees. But maybe I'm tripping. It's it's their own thing, right? Uh, damn, man. The mics. There was a mic in there. It looked like the uh, the the long mic that's hanging. It looks like the Neumann. Like, it was one of the first mics. Um, I was on the Neu- Neumann 103 TLM or whatever it is, right? But um, I remember when my first engineer producer, he kept saving and saving to get the, I think it's called the Neu- Neumann U87, U187 or something like that. That's what those microphones look like. Which it wouldn't surprise me if, because those mics are so nice um, that if they've been around that long, you know. But anyways, just that's a weird observation probably to you guys. But just being in recording studios, I was like, oh, that looks like the Neumann U87 or whatever the hell that mic is called. Those ones, those mics. got a crazy change up coming is uh frankie valley uh, uh italian i don't know for some reason he reminds me of, like a little mob boss or something from like the italian movies he might not be no disrespect i was just curious uh okay as an artist as a rapper who's been in out in and out of studios the one thing i have not been able to i have not done you see how they're all mic'd up and i don't know if they still record like this with bands you know because a, a lot of stuff with technology You know, they just separate everything out. But I have no clue because I've personally never recorded with a band. I've reported with an instrument like a guitar. Someone's played guitar and we've done stuff. But essentially, the guitar will go in and lay its parts down and then we'll start adding production. And then I'll go in and write a rap or a melody and record that, whatever the case may be, just depending on the situation. But what I was wondering is... uh. Or what I've never witnessed or been a part of is this, like this huge, nice studio. Everyone's mic'd up. Everyone's playing. And they're, I'm guessing, you know, they're doing the recording uh, right then and there. And I've seen stuff like this, especially the Motown era. And it's like they had to hit it one take because it's just like the technology wouldn't allow, you know, cut and paste as we do today. So it was really interesting watching them create and then going back listening to some of these records and i'm not saying that's because there was way more technology here than some of the stuff i'm thinking in my mind like in the 60s per se but uh again again all i'm trying to say is i'm appreciative of seeing them in this format and just vibing and what it looks like they recorded you know recorded i'm wondering if they recorded this filmed it right they go mix and master and then put the master over the actual visual recording as well like you know it's just kind of cool to see it all unfold who's gonna love you love you who's gonna love you i'm like what's this yeah this is fire right here Uh uh-huh uh-huh
They snap. They snap. I want. I'm. My question, I think, for that is: was that one of their bigger hits, or was it one of the subtle ones? Because, like, oh, what a night, and uh, big girls don't cry. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's Frankie Valli in the Four Seasons, who who do both of those joints, right? Yeah, I'm almost 100 because this is it right here. Yeah, December, December 1963. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. I have never heard "Who Loves You." And it sounds mad catchy, and like it was probably on the radio uh, at some capacity. So you guys got to tap in, let me know about that. But, hey, I'm here for it. That's playlist material for your boy. You guys know. And, yeah, 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 man. That goes in the, that just goes in the, it can come on whenever, right? My kids can listen to it. You know, just if I'm in that vibe, we will play this joint. All right, you guys, uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Fody. Thank you for being some man. 40 is down the road back again. F U Q boy.